Hello everyone, so I thought I'd do this quick little video on how to use a pendulum properly because sometimes you need a yes or a no answer and you know, sometimes you haven't got the time to ask for guidance or wait for signs or use the cards or go for a reading and you want an answer quickly and the best way to get an answer is to use a pendulum now if you haven't used a pendulum before you'll love this video i love pendulums pendulums are really exciting and you know i've spoke to the angels about using pendulums and you know i don't get any bad vibes about using a pendulum um sometimes you need that peace of mind quickly and a pendulum helps you to get that so you know, some people say that these aren't good to use because they're against God and all them things. And I think you just have to use tools in a genuine way. You know, if you use tools in a genuine way, and that's what this is. This is a tool. Cards are tools. You know, if you use tools in a loving, genuine way, then what are you actually doing wrong, you know? So I thought I'd just jump on and show you how to use a pendulum. So this is a pendulum. And a pendulum is just like a piece of rock, um, and this is like a crystal. I'm not actually sure what this one is, what crystal this is. Um, if you know, let me know. Um, but this is one that I was drawn to, and it's a piece of, of like rock or crystal on the end of a chain with a little ball on the end to hold it into place. But the thing is, you can use anything that swings as a pendulum. Sometimes, if I'm out and I need a yes or a no answer, and I want to know quickly, I'll take off my necklace and use that as a pendulum. So, you know, you can use anything as a pendulum, anything that has got room to move around. You don't have to buy anything fancy or special, but always get one that, you know, that kind of resonates with you. And I've had many pendulums over the years, and this is the one that I'm currently using. I really like this one, it feels nice. And, you know, you can order them off Amazon. I tend to order a lot of my crystals and things off Amazon. Um, or you can go into a crystal shop and feel some and whatever you're drawn to. But the most important thing about using a pendulum is that you have to speak very clearly and command it with your voice. If you wishy-washy with your pendulum, you'll get wishy-washy answers. And I'll give you an idea. So you have to command your pendulum. So the best way to hold your pendulum is like this. I don't know if you can see, but we put it between that finger there and your thumb and kind of put it over and then you hold the ball. But like I say, you can do this with anything that swings. So you don't need to use a pendulum. If I was using my necklace, for example, and I'll show you so you can see, um, I just hold it in the same way. So hold it like that and it works exactly the same. And I'll show you that in a second to prove that point. So you get your pendulum and you hold it like that and you don't put any weight on. You don't, I mean, I suppose you could do, um, but I don't, I just hold it up. And you say, can you show me a yes, please? Can you show me a yes, please? Can you see it moving? It's going round in a circle. And that's a yes. Can you show me a yes, please? There you go. It's going quite quickly now. Now, I aren't moving my hands. I aren't doing anything. I've just commanded the pendulum to show me a yes. And that's what it's done. It's gone in a circular motion. And I tend to find that if I ask my pendulums for a yes answer, then they will shoot round like that. Can you show me a no, please, pendulum? Can you show me a no? Can you show me a no, please? Now, I aren't doing anything. I aren't moving and it's starting to go slower and slower. Can you show me a no, please? Can you see? And now it's just fell into a forward, backward motion. And that's a no. And that's the no that I usually get with my pendulums. And, you know, you can do this. You can stop the pendulum and ask another question. Or you can ask the same, like, a, a, another question. And then it will still do it like it, it gave me a yes and now it's given me a no. 
Can you show me a don't know, please, Pendulum? Can you show me a don't know? If you don't know the answer to something. Can you see that's diagonal? A don't know is diagonal. And it always tends to be diagonal for me if it's a don't know. It's very rare you get a don't know. Um, sometimes the universe just doesn't know the answer or something hasn't been aligned yet. And that's why it'll show you a don't know. Can you show me a yes, please? See, we've got a yes. That's a clear yes. Can you show me a don't know? Can you show me a don't know, please? Be very clear with your pendulum. Can you show me a don't know? There you go, it was swinging around, now it started going diagonal. And can you show me a clear no, please? Can you show me a clear no, please? So it's swinging back round to get itself into alignment. Can you show me a clear no, please? There you go. And just to prove it to you, is my name Liz? Is my name Liz? There you go. So it's swinging round. Yes, my name is Liz. Is my name Joanne? Is my name Joanne? No. You see? And you get to know your pendulum, so you kind of know which way it's swinging, what it's going to tell you. And that's how a pendulum works. And my arm's aching a little bit now. Usually you don't use it for that long because you ask your question and that's that. But if I was using my necklace, I'll show you it works in the same way. Can you show me a yes, please? Can you show me a yes, please? See, it's still swinging around the same. It's actually swinging more because it's got a bigger chain. Can you show me a no, please? Can you show me a no, please? I don't do anything with my hands. I just keep my hands in the same position. And it stops swinging and it goes to a, a forward backward motion, which is a no. And can you show me a don't know, please? Can you show me a don't know, please? There you go, diagonal. Very quick and easy. So I've shown you there in pretty much eight minutes how you clearly use a pendulum. The key is when using a pendulum, be very clear with it. Don't say, uh, eh. you know, if you're asking a question, don't say, is my name Liz? Don't be afraid to speak to your pendulum. You have to command your pendulum. Is my name Liz? You see? Am I female? I hope I am. Yes. You know, you can ask it anything. So if you're wondering if you should go somewhere, for example, and you say, should I, let's do this one, should I go to Ireland for the event that I have seen? Yes, very clear yes, okay. Sometimes it takes longer to go around. If it takes longer, I find that it's to do with the timing of things. So if you ask if something's going to happen and it starts going around but very slowly, it means yes, but it's going to take a bit of time. If it goes around very quickly, then it means it's going to happen quickly or it's a very clear yes. And it works the same with no's. If you find that you ask the question and it goes between don't know and no, it's not quite ready to be answered yet. So, you know, if you need a quick way to get answers or you're just wanting a different way of getting angel guidance, then use a pendulum. I'm all for pendulums. I only use them for personal use. You know, I don't use these if I've got a client. I use cards for that. Um, but I do tend to use a pendulum for myself. It's rare I do myself cards. 
Um, sometimes I'll pick like a chord every now and again, but I don't like do chords regularly for me. I use my pendulum instead. So if I want an answer to a question, is it still the right decision to me off to look? Is it still the right decision for me to be off social media? And that's a very clear yes, you know? So you can ask it anything. So have some fun with this, you know. If you want to get a little pendulum, or even right now, take your necklace off or, you know, grab something that hangs down and just have a play with your pendulum. Pendulums are great fun and they're always very accurate. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.